see the orange lips now. <laughs> okay, dinner with the Demilios. Is this we have a special guest. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna yeah. show them. Okay. <laughs> so, this is chicken liver. Mm. It's so hard to find anywhere. So I finally found it. Are you excited? Yeah. This is hummus with faba beans. <laughs> we call it hummus full. <laughs> did they come with a pita bread or is that pita bread yours? Or did we have that already? Or did it you comes order with it? it because it's supposed to kind of. The way they package it looks like it's from a grocery store. Well, that's the original package. Yeah, and they're like even. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. But you're supposed to like wipe your pita. I guess that's not a good word. <laughs> what wipe your pizza? <laughs> what word would you use? What's in that? these? Which one? Oh, and that one. It's my new favorite. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and then, since you said you never had any olives. Yeah, but that's when we were going to have pizza, and I was like, okay, I'll try an olive on a pizza, not an olive by itself. What's in that little one? Probably more of this. Mm. Which one comes with it? It's like pickles. You always get pickles. Well, I'll just stick to the shrimp, I think. Maybe Saturday, we can, since I'm going to be glam for Adam and Eve, we can order the pizza box I wanted to do. Cool. <laughs> it looks so festive, that. Box. I know. It's my idea. <laughs> I didn't get the pizza. I'm not talking about it, but I'm I made the pizza. I made the taco bell. Let's see. So, the place is measured by the quality of the hummus. <laughs> and what's the verdict? It's pretty good. Because mm -hmm. they make it, you know, it's homemade. Mm -hmm. And what do you eat with the chicken liver? You put that on pita bread too? Yeah, so I, normally I would maybe make like a little sandwich. Mm -hmm. Is it warm? Do you remember when you first found out <laughs> that it's a pocket? That's crazy. That still blows my mind. She used to just take the pizza, and put stuff it. on it. No, I never even put stuff on it. I just eat it. Is yeah. it warm or is it? Yeah, this one is fresh. It's pretty warm. So you can make your little pocket of food. <laughs> it's so funny. But you do it. With a little hummus. I don't know why this is so funny to me. Why? But yeah, because isn't that how you eat it? Yeah, but when you translate it to English and things are like a pocket of food or... <laughs> <laughs> what is it in Hebrew? Just pita. Oh. I want to get rid of this orange on my lips. For real. So now we got chicken liver, hummus, pita. Mm-hmm. What? It's pretty fresh, the pita. Mm -hmm. It's not as good as the Greek place. Mm. Mm. You said it's from the grocery store. My belly is like warm right now. Can you hear it? That's why I ordered your food. I was like, okay. You need some. <laughs> I mean, it's so late. We didn't eat anything today. I should get like so fast. Hmm. I'm sorry. 
for tomorrow's Hanukkah. Hanukkah. What are you doing for it? Well, this time we'll light one candle. Again? Did you start with one, two, three? Every day you add one. People go crazy on the tic on TikTok. Because <laughs> we just lighted all of them. Oh. Just for the TikTok. <laughs> it's not... mm. Why is it them? You remember that meme? The... Mm. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Do you know that one? Mm -mm. I feel people are just like that. They're just like, no, you're doing it all wrong. You know, it's like they get all. I don't know that one. <laughs> we know we're doing it wrong. Doing what wrong? What are we doing wrong? When we lit all the candles at once. Oh. I hate when people are like, oh, do you know that meme? I'm like, there's so many memes. Not that I'm not saying you, but I'm saying in general, like, there's so many memes. Like, how would I possibly know every single meme? Some of them are big, but I guess people just assume you're in social media. <laughs> I know everything. <sighs> Their dishes are huge. They're Insane. so big. And the rice, I mean, I love rice, but they give you so much rice in this. I'm like, how can someone eat all this? I mean, obviously they don't, but. Hmm. I can't believe I have to go dance tonight. Mm. Jeez. I mean, I like dancing. I know I'll be happy once I get there. It's just like, I gotta like put a sports bra on and like, change my outfit. Mm. People have no idea how hard you work. No. <laughs> Non-stop every day. I mean, I like to do it to myself. Like, I, I like push myself. Because I like really do like doing everything. And then, like, once you're in it doing it, you're like, okay, I'm really tired. I probably shouldn't be doing all this stuff. Because <laughs> I'm, like, I'm the same way. I can work all day, every day. Yeah. But some of my work is, like, writing, reading. <laughs> right. They're, like, it's so not physical. Yeah. But for you, it's like, it's performing, <laughs> dancing, practicing, mm -hmm. and different kind of performance, whether it's TikTok video, music videos. So it's very, and then you produce all of it too. So there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of people, a lot of organization. And... The organization, I think, is the part. Like, I, I, I wish I could, like, my ultimate goal, like, that's why I would say I like to be on Broadway or like a movie. Like, I wish I could just show up and, like, perform and then like nothing worry about nothing else you know but yeah I, like cleaning everything and like that kind of stresses me out i mean i like doing it because i'm like a control freak but at the same time it's kind of stressful and i'm like overwhelmed by it but but like if someone backs out of something then i have to like take care of it if someone doesn't get somewhere in time someone doesn't get paid on time like ugh, i hate taking care of all that stuff <laughs> but you do it <laughs> My resolution is always to relax more in the new year. Mm. Like for the first couple of months, I want to be able to just relax and enjoy our house and we'll get cozy. And, and then I'll get bored probably when I go on tour or something. But. I can't wait to see you on stage. I might not ever tour again, though. It's a lot of work, too. When I think about tour, it's exhausting. I, I think like you it. will. I mean, sad boy. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I love the music. It's my favorite like album, but... Even coordinating the music video and having to rely on other people to show up because it's a band project. I don't think I could do that for tour. Like... I would, I would be, I'd be a wreck if people didn't show up on time or backed out. I, I would lose my shit. I like to like rely on myself and myself only. Like I don't like to rely on anyone else. 
so i don't know i don't think i could do that with a band that's not as i'm like i just i'll go on broadway or something or everyone else like i just rely on me to show up and everyone else is like whatever that's someone else's problem what if you do a regular tour but then just add in that a couple of songs from sad boy i mean it seems you know no because it's a band i can't perform it but it's like all the instruments are live on the album like it wouldn't sound the same if I went with like a track. It would be weird. I wouldn't like it. It's not the same feel, not the same vibe. If you had dancers that can also play. That's not a thing. <laughs> There's no musicians that are dancers and vice versa. <laughs> and if they are, they're not good at dancing and if dan they're not good at instruments. It just is not, it's not a thing. I can see that. Mm -mm, I can't. <laughs> Sad Boy is so good, I would love to see that. You might be able to do one show in LA. Because they're not far. No, because if you put together one show, then you might as well then you might as well tour. Like putting together a show is the hardest part. So once the show's together, then touring is easy. You don't have to like rehearse anymore. You just go and perform it, you know, but oh, I'm just kinda over it. So pale, can't wait for the spray tan. Look at all guppy. If I'm in the sun, I can get so dark. Like really, really dark. Okay, I mean, this is brag. like, it's not a brag, but I'm just saying it's crazy how that much darker I can get. Than you or than myself or? For myself, my own like range. From... Mm really pale to really 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 dark but a flex it's not a flex that's a flex <laughs> all right i'll take it no it is it's a good flex i mean i gotta stay out of the sun you know skin cancer and stuff yeah i don't i don't really like this i don't want i like the sun but yeah i don't i don't be in it although i'd love to be in should be half an hour to an hour a day Vitamin D. It's the most important thing with coronavirus. <laughs> what Vitamin you D, C and zinc. Because we're talking about the sun. I'm like, <laughs> go out to the sun. Be like half an hour to an hour to the sun in a day. It's so good. So healthy. Because people don't talk about that. They just talk about, oh, wear a mask, do this. But also keep your immune system strong. All right. Trying to educate here. No, I, I'm, I'm so supportive <laughs> of this message. I am. <laughs> think about those Pizza Hut boxes. Hey, this is better. Mm, I was in such a good mood about that. I was like so bad. Soon, I'll have them. I mean, the food. So tomorrow it's all day, but then, what are you thinking, Saturday or Friday night? Saturday, I got land, so I'll try to film it. Mm -hmm. If you have a onesie that looks like the boxes. Do you see their color? Like the yeah. <laughs> Wait, but what, you didn't finish your sentence. If you had a onesie that looked like the boxes, what? That would be cool in the video. Just the look of it. Oh. I'm just getting all visual right now. Oh, okay. <sighs> I'm going to miss this place once we move. Oh. I'm surprised to get it. Hmm? Work. <laughs> 
text messages, emails, all that. Sometimes that's what the work looks like. Mm -hmm. What kind of wood? The maple? What kind of finish? What stain? Mm. Seems to be for how, our house. Be nice. I made so many furniture for so many people. It would be amazing to make it for myself. You never make furniture for yourself? Not in this way, like, you know, like this is really... I made some prototypes or just had fun with it, but... Like making an Egyptian bedroom, thinking about those pyramid cabinets and dressers stuff like that like that's gonna be so cool and and i've seen it all like i've seen all the furniture all the showrooms everything that people made over the years and we're gonna do some things that nobody ever did really yeah i'm really excited about that like the pyramids ones nobody made ever the way that we're gonna make them And like people today have these huge bedrooms and they're just empty. Yeah. So it's so nice to have like an object, you know, like mm -hmm. something like a sculpture, but it's also functional. Right. And last night in the room are hieroglyphics. We'll get a muralist to draw it. Do you guys know any mural artists? Contact me, Tasha Paradise YouTube at yahoo.com. <laughs> I found a really, the guy who did my album cover and my Sad Boy logo, I found through asking people on Instagram if they knew anyone that did this kind of artwork. So if you can make hieroglyphics like in the movie Prince of Egypt, they show babies being tossed to alligators. We want like us, but we want babies being thrown to us from God and pyramids and or no what do we want we don't want pyramids or we want egypt or we do want pyramids being made what do we want on that other side by the pyramids i mean the it's very like the hieroglyphics is like very 2d drawings of people and actions and things um it's all like their language too what did you want on the, what was or not what did you want but what do we want on the other by the pyramids so i can i see like that big wall it's all a mural and then the pyramids are in the space. So instead of drawing them, we're actually going to have them as objects. Mm. Okay. Let's look at the backdrop to it. Oh, I thought we were looking out at like Egypt from there. And then the other wall was going to be the hieroglyphics and the babies being tossed. I thought we had like the pyramids were going to show like Egypt, like a night Egyptian sky. But we thought like the mural and then the walls next to the mural to be like mirror. And put um, columns so the mural kind of continues through. Yeah, that'd be dope. Right, and then the pyramids kind of float in the room in front of it. Because the other side is the bathroom. Yeah, but what are we putting on that wall? Or the fans? You want the, the, the big fans. Right. We can do more mural. I mean, it could be on the side wall because there's that beautiful, you know, curved wall. Right. So that should stay the way it is. But then we're, it could be murals next to it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. We just want to feel it, you know, so it's not too busy or not too, like, to get the right balance. I feel like we could do another white marble or something on that side too, maybe like 
something with white marble stairs, maybe like white marble stairs into like a bench or like a white marble bench or like. But it could be if we have, because we have the bed and then it could be almost like more of a column. You know, we can have pedestals mm -hmm. like something on them from the marble. That would be cool. It could be an actual console, like a small table against the wall. Like right. the ones I made. Mm, that'd be cool. Because um, we'll we'll have a lot of marble to work with. Yeah, like we'll put a leftovers. marble table outside on the balcony so we can eat out there. Mm -hmm. It's great for outdoor furniture. Is it? Stone, yeah. White marble? Yeah, any stone. Mm -hmm. We need Egyptian costumes. I know, At least a robe. That one. <laughs> a robe. Like an Egyptian robe, like it looks Egyptian, you know, when we get out of the shower and in the bedroom. Oh, that's like Versace. I feel like those Versace robes. I have a, like I have those. They look, they would fit. And they just look a bit Greek or. Mm, I get those confused. I was like sand dunes. What are like our outfits with sand dunes? Are those more like Arab? Mm -hmm. We can mix all the Middle Eastern cultures like Aladdin did. No, but the the black and gold that fit. Well, it's black and red. No, I'm talking about the oh. robes. Mm. I thought that was Greek. <laughs> yeah, but it fits like the the, the colors and the. Mm. I mean, we're not gonna be OCD about it. Or like that one in Egypt. <laughs> yeah. Has to be of the period. <laughs> we're not making a movie. <laughs> That's the thing, you gotta have fun with it. Like, if you don't enjoy it, if it becomes like a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's like, okay. Not fun. <laughs> right. Now I have that song in my head. Let my people be your song sexy olives wait sexy olives what does that mean sexy olives the way you're eating it is sexy i'm joking but i mean it kind of is is that what you're saying <laughs> like it's kind of sexual it kind of is i was trying to figure out why though like it kind of was but then like mm, but no one really who does stuff like that but it was i just was you know how people like turn stuff into sexual and it's like not at all and you're just like it's not. But the, that kind of was, I don't know. It's kind of like when do, they, people do the cherry stem thing and like do it with their tongue and be like, oh, that's so hot. It's like, but why? Like, what are they going to do with that tongue? I don't get that one. But... <laughs> I'm somebody. What are you going to do that something penis? so small like, <laughs> like a twig. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I don't, like, I guess like their tongue moves good. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, not November. What? I have no idea. Just came up with it. Is it no, not November? No, not November. Do you know what that is? No. You just came up with it? What, what does it mean in your head? Like, not. Like, the not. No, not November. You're lying. You know what it means. What do you mean? Wait. Oh, wait, really? You knew that. <laughs> no. Don't be stupid. I know no, that maybe, you knew that. Maybe it You're not in, dumb. No, no, but maybe, maybe it was like in my head subconsciously, uh, but mm. I was thinking about that specifically. Because you know. there's so many things that are in something November. Right. And now it's Dick Down December. What? Dick Down December. What's that? To get Dick Down. Oh, so no nut, like no nothing? Like no. Mm hmm. Hmm. And then you make up for it in December? Yeah, that's good. So why not just have a nice balanced <laughs> sustainable? You call it something. You're like, oh no, it's good when you like wait a couple days. I mean 
Mm. No, they, sometimes it's nice when it builds up and then you really... So maybe that's the same concept for not doing it all November and in December. Jeez, that's quite the build up. A couple of days will do. Mm. I know another one, Sober October. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go through all the months. What else? I'm trying to know? figure out what's on the calendar. What else? Let's make something up for January. No, you can't make it up. Something we already heard. Oh, there is something for January? I don't know. I thought you knew. You said it's over October. Right. That's the only one I know. Um, itinerary. January. Something about travel. I don't know. You're asking me. Go down the ways that my people go. The fish for real. And water. I want a fish tank so bad. I was looking at fish tanks and I want a fish tank. We'll have one. I told you, I have a friend that makes them. How expensive do you think like a nice one is? Like, or, or just not expensive, but how much do you think like a nice one is? It can get real. It just really depends how much you go outside of the box, you know? Yeah. The shape, the size, the type of water. The shape of water. We need to watch that. I don't know if I'm quite in the mood to be watching Shape of Water tonight. Ship of Water October. Oh gosh. I'm so tired. I literally feel about it right now. I'm so tired. Well, we need to sleep so late. Way past our bedtime. Mm-hmm. So early tonight. Does it have a taste to it? I don't want it, but do you does that taste to it? Mm -hmm. Does that have a taste to it? Strong. No, really? Yeah. Like what? I don't want to smell. Like, I don't oh. want to smell. I mean, I can't smell it. But is it bad? Like, what does it smell like? You know me. I'm so sensitive. Like, it's like... All right, let me smell it. I don't want... It's I really like don't want it. pickled. Bite. Just touches oh, your tongue. Oh, pickled? No, no, no. If it's pickled, nothing. I want no pickled. I suppose you like pickled stuff. You're so sensitive to it. It's like... more... Um, like, after you eat this heavy food, it has a little bit of a break. Like it, mm -hmm. it feels... Do you consider this heavy? I feel like it's not that heavy. It is hummus oh. <laughs> and meat, like it's so dense. Oh, and when it gets to yeah, it's so dense. What were you gonna say when it gets to what through your body? Just, uh, got it. We joke about who jokes about it. Hummus, it's like cement, it's thick. Oh, it's not appealing. Well, this is actually really good. Hey, it's the stereotype. What? Israeli, like hummus. <laughs> so on. Nothing wrong with it. There is nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Tell that to my parents. I will. Mm. You're gonna dislike when we say that. There is nothing wrong with it. I like to cut hair. And there is nothing wrong with it. Tell it to my parents. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'll let you someone know that one. I remember our lines. <laughs> All of our TikToks. Well, yeah. Um, maybe you make a Zohan too, you could be in it. Would you? Yeah, of course. Like, what if it was just to be like one of the Israeli guys? Like, you're not like a lead, but. No, of course I'll be like an extra or like for a moment. No, but you know how there's like when they're in New York and there's like the Israeli story of the street versus mm -hmm. the palace? Would you be in that scene where there's like 10 Israeli mm -hmm. guys? You would? Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised. I feel like you wouldn't like to be in like... No, but it would make you so happy. It would, be... <laughs> it would make me so happy. I mean, it's I would... more like it's your dream, not mine. Like that's your dream come true. I know, but you shouldn't do something for me. You should just do it for you. 
I would love to be an extra in an Adam Sandler movie. I would just, I would sit in the party scene all day long just to, like, be in an Adam Sandler movie. It'd be so cool. I was in an Adam Sandler movie. I was an extra in an Adam Sandler movie. Which one? Wait, but, you, just huh? <laughs> you just remembered? Well, it's so, it's so not, like, it's not cool at all. But it was, oh, I can't think of the website. Okay, there was a website. And I didn't even like Adam Sandler at the time. I wanted to be in this movie because Burt Reynolds was in the movie. I'm like obsessed with Burt Reynolds. And so I was on a Burt Reynolds forum back in the day. And there was a website. And I forget what it's called. But basically it was like be an extra in a movie.com. It was something like that where it showed like all the extras. So then on the Burt Reynolds forum, they were like, oh, hey, if you want to be an extra in The Longest Yard. Like it was in Long, I think it was in Long Beach. And so I, my dad lived in California in the summer. So I'd come out here and... Like, anyone could, any age could be a part of it. You just need to bring an adult. And, yeah, I sat in the audience, the football crowd for Longest Yard. And, mm. like, I guess I didn't think of it as an Adam Sandler movie because, one, we never watch it and I never think about it because I don't really like it because it's so football heavy. And I don't really like sports movies. Like, it is really, like, big into football. And then, yeah, I, I look at it as a Burt Reynolds movie. Like, I went on it and I was like, oh, I was an extra in a Burt Reynolds movie. So, like, literally now I was just thinking, like, oh, I was an extra in an Adam Sandler movie. So we should probably watch it. You definitely can't see me. But I was definitely in it. I mean, maybe you could. Maybe I'll watch it now and see me. I'm trying to think if there's ever a movie. The only thing I can think of see me is like Modern Family. I was an extra. They like featured me. I don't like a lot of other stuff. You like can't see me. I mean, White House video. Even in the Shane Dawson video, I was an extra, and you can't see me. I was never in it. The one with Jack's films that I always talk about. Like I was like just an extra, and now you can't even see me in there. It was like his Christmas music video. But anyways, I was in an Adam Sandler movie, I guess, which is pretty freaking cool when you think about it. So. I guess I accomplished my dream. No, but I would, I would, but, but I'm saying I would want you to be like one of those people, like a featured one. I don't want you to be like, he's in Israel and you're just like on the beach chilling. You know what I mean? Like, I would want you to be like a featured Israeli. So I can at least sell somebody some electronics or something. Yeah. But you'd have to turn on like an accent or something. Like you'd have to, you'd have to make it, you know, like the guy on TikTok we watch, you have to like talk like him more. Can you do it? You know me, I can act when can I you do choose it? to. Pretend like this is like an audition. Can you go? On the spot? Yeah, please. Oh I need God, some lines. Good. I need something. Be like, like... Which one? Um... Like, I don't know what to say, but like, you know, you're Israeli. I'm trying to remember because there was a scene where they're like selling people stuff. So they were like... Um, it's a good price! It's a good price! Like... like it's water resistant, not proof. Resistant. Because <laughs> you know, okay. it, it's fine. Look, hello. It works. Hello. Like, like, you just said your regular voice, but it was good. It still sounded very Israeli. Try it. Hello. No, try but it. I'm telling you, it doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? Look. Look. <laughs> Everything works. Look. Selfie. Come on. Take it. Go. Okay. Take it. Go. Go. Take it. Go. <laughs> I love when you do that. I love that's like a traditional Middle Eastern everything. No, 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 it's good deal. It's good deal. You take now. <laughs> I'm losing money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I shouldn't even do this. I lose all money, but for you, for you, I make a special deal. I'll be surprised. <laughs> I think that's just the valley. I'm so used to like all Persian or like it's mostly Persian, but I, I guess Israelis are like that. Well, I do have a locksmith that's Israeli, and he's very much like that. He's very like, no, 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 don't worry about it, don't worry about it. We just say $300 out, don't worry about it. I'm like, okay, but you didn't do anything. You just came out to look at it. Like, what do you mean don't worry about it? Like, I'm paying you $300. Who's the other Israeli person I come in contact with? There's another, there's one more Israeli in my life. A bad yeah. one. No, no, oh. he's good. No, he was very calm. He's very, like, cute. He's very quiet. There's another one that's so... No, 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 no. I'm just seeing Persian people. I guess I just show them. All the Mo's. Oh. Mo, Vic, Nick. Where's the other one? Oh, I should go to those. Oh, well, they're probably not open now. I should go to those strip clubs and see if they're still running. <laughs> they, were, they were so. Bleh, they were so dingy. And I had to look in the fancy one. I was always at the bottom of the barrel. I don't know the strip club hierarchy. You've been to strip clubs or no? No. I sound as well. You go to strip clubs or no? You've been or no? No. No. 
never to one strip club in your life. One time. Oh, so you did not go by to strip club. No, 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 no. One time, like it was like uh, in college, the whole class went to Mexico. Oh, oh yeah, and you then we're us. just wandering in Tijuana and stuff, and stumbled into one of those, and it was so bad, so bad. We ran out as soon as we could. Like it was like in out. Like peace. Yeah. Peace out. Yes, definitely. No, no <laughs> peace even, just out. It was so bad. And there were like soldiers. I guess it's the day that they get paid. So they're like American soldiers. And they were like on stage, drunk. Like so, I've never seen people so drunk. Yeah. They were just like pouring alcohol on themselves. So, you know, they didn't even know where they were, what they were doing. And I was like, wow, like that's so dangerous. Like That's so dangerous. Yeah. Do you I don't like from? police control. It sounds familiar. That's so dangerous. <laughs> the, that woman? Oh. It sounds like the one from TikTok. Yeah. Okay, Today. but it's so dangerous. <laughs> Today. That's how you sound when you said that. You go, so dangerous. So dangerous. I don't know what I do with that. She knows. You would. Um, I won't say. What? <laughs> what? Tell me. What were you going to say? I won't say. Why? Baby, but you said you don't want you me want to what? do something because you want it. But um, but I'm with you because that's what I want. It's something I'm doing for myself. Okay, but don't be in an Adam Sandler movie for me. Be in an Adam Sandler movie for you. But having you is for me. Being in the movie I don't care about. Oh, so you're not going to be in the Adam Sandler movie if he asks I will you. be for you. No, but you had to be in it for you, for yourself. I'm with you for me, for myself. That's enough. <laughs> okay, but you should want other things too besides me. You already have me. And then... And then... I mean, I worked hard all those years for the house. That was my goal. You got it. So, it's going exactly to where I wanted it. You know what's the saddest part is that, like, I'll probably never get casted in, like, the sequel to Zohan, like, I probably really won't get to be in it. You never know. There's no, like, Caucasian. I mean, there's other characters, like, in the... I mean, it could be Adam's lover. No, he had a Middle Eastern. She was, like, Palestinian or something, right? Like, she was Indian in real life. Yeah, she looks... Um... Yeah, how come he's never had a fat love interest? How come they gave the... But he went with the that kid's mom. Do you remember? Oh, in what movie? In Zohan. When he stayed... I <laughs> think that would be my role. No, no, but I'm saying no, but you were just saying he never did. I'm like, wait a minute, I remember a scene of him and this big ass. I'm like... <laughs> so you remember that to Ryan? I would take no. that role, honestly. I would take that role. Even like when we're watching Legally Blonde, like... Yes, I would love to be Elle Woods. Like, that would be my role. But realistically, I'd be, like, a Jennifer Coolidge. I'd be, like, you look like the 4th of July. It makes you want a hot dog real fat. Like, that bore me me. I mean, I would take it. Honestly, I'd take the roles. I like to be the lead romantic girl, but I'm probably more the Zohan mom with the fat ass. She was naked in it, too. I'd There's like, probably a body double or something. Oh, I would be the body double. That's one thing about good about you. You want me to body double. Why? Oh, because I'm so comfortable being naked? No, because it's so perfect. <laughs> Stupid. Um, I'm excited. Well, maybe we'll get to be in the sequel. Dude, if they made a sequel, holy shit, that would make me a whole life. I feel like it just didn't do well. I don't know. I don't know. I would talk about this all the time. I just, I like it so much. I would watch that again. I want to watch that and I want to watch Joseph again with you. They should do like <laughs> a funny, some, like the Zohan 2 and 3 all in one. <laughs> I could just go full nice. on two chapters at once. Um, you could do the prequel to Zohan. In Israel? Yeah, I mean, that'd be interesting. We'd love to see a whole movie in Israel. <laughs> and I'm sure that you can get, you can land some roles in Israeli TV and movies. Me? Mm -hmm. A guest star. You know, you walk in and then suddenly... Uh, my goal in life <laughs> all right well we're gonna go today's been a little bit of a rough day for me i'm very tired i'm very ornery 
Mama said alligators are so armory because they got all them teeth and no toothbrush. What is that word? Huh? Ornery? Yeah, you don't know what that line is from? No, what is the word? Ornery. Is that a word? Like, yeah. What does it mean? Ornery is like angry. Never heard it. Do you know what that line is from? Mama, 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 mama said that alligators are so ornery because they have all them teeth and no toothbrush. Come on, babe. We watched it together? It's Adam Sandler. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know which one. I know which one. <laughs> Um, when he wanted to play and his mama didn't let him. So the name of the movie, I mean, it's the water ball, right? Yeah. yeah. That's one of the first ones we watched. And he goes, well, mama's wrong. He goes, <laughs> you take that back. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go. I'm down to watch Sohan again. I'm down to watch Joseph and the Nightclub Dream Coat again. We need to, well, we should get that for our room. When they go to Egypt, when Joseph goes to Egypt and Potiphar is in those pyramids and like Potiphar was counting shekels in his, and, but we should get the shekels that look like you like are sliding them across. Do you remember it in the movie? Oh, is it the thing that you move? Yeah. What is that? Do you know? Like we used to have it as kids to calculate the things. Oh, it's not, those aren't shekels. Oh, maybe the silver coins were the shekels. Like you move them to, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like an old fashioned calculator. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's funny. Oh, we should get that. Or like in the movie, she's on a lounge bed, the one where she like is like ha like having an affair with Joseph, kind of. We could have like the little lounge. Anyway, I don't know. All right. Definitely a lounge. I got such a big face because I'm in the forefront. All right. We'll see you guys soon. I gotta go dance. I gotta drink water. I'm so like have a headache, oh, yeah. but mm -hmm. mm. I got leaked so fast. Okay, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thanks for dinner. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Let me change.